In this video, we are going to see rubber compression. So let's import the model as a part, which is rubber. And then while importing, make sure that the attribute is a deformable, which is axis and break. Okay, then import it out. So we'll get something like this. And then let's import the bottom part that which is going to be also an axis symmetry so let's discrete rigid okay so let's import that too and then once again over here we have bottom so we have top so let's copy it top and then create one right okay top this so we need reference point for the top as well as for the bottom so Create reference point for the top. Let's go to property over here. We are going to use moon rolling as the material. Let's take and then we can see that the density is applied and then hyperelastic, which is moon rolling with the portion top C10 and C01 and with D1. Okay, now let's create a section. Which is solid homogeneous and then okay and then section four just a second let's take our yeah section four this one so which is done and then we just have to do it done now let's go to assembly let's import all three together as independent okay okay done now we are going to actually translate the both i think both the top and bottom are playing in the bottom so since we have copied it it's on the bottom, let's translate it. For instance, let's take top, okay, and then enter okay over here. We are going to translate for zero and then it's on top. Okay. So what we want it is on top and then it's on the bottom, right? Okay. Now we are here. Now assembly is over. Let's create a step. So step is dynamic explicit. Continue and the timeline is 0 0.1 second. At the same time, we supposed to create a marking of create a scale factor of 20. Right? Okay, done. And then good to go. So next that we go for the interaction. First and foremost, we will create a friction, friction of energy, which is has coefficient of 2.25. And then okay. And then now we'll start with initial step with the self-contact. So which will be on this side. Done. Okay, and then one more self contact over here, which will be in this done. Okay. Now we will actually create one surface to surface contact between the surface to surface contact between the surfaces. Okay, between the first surface will be this. And then done, which is magenta here. And then second surface, we will take the surface. I don't have that. So we will actually go for instance, let's take the rubber replace. So we can easily take this, this, and this. Done. So we have given one unit, right? Done. Okay. The same way we are actually supposed to give the other one. Let's take right. Uh, we will actually have the input of this, so it will be easy to manipulate the thing. So surface to surface contact first go with this done, and then which is yellow that what we need, and then create an invert. So it's easy to select this, this, and this. Done. So we have created the surfaces interactions, and then let's go for load. Let's have all the things so it will be easy. 
Let's create initially a symmetric. Continue this one done in caster. Then let's go for uh, like this is my rotation. Continue and then let's do this and done and then let's add this okay and then let's go here edit this one so we are going to go over here is minus a point so some fiber compression with then amplitude so let's create an amplitude zero and zero zero point one which is the time when I will be doing which will be one right done and then amplitude is good okay and then good to go one thing that we have forgotten is in interaction we are supposed to need to create a rigid body of these two so elements space this done the reference point of this okay and then again one more rigid body which supposed to be like this take it no 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 it's just this, right? Then, and then point of this uh, will be good. So now mesh. So we will actually take this as well as this, uh, which mesh size will be two monthly, and then for this. Of it might be too big because no, that's too constrained. So let's reassign these things to yeah, it's okay. Let's have that big. So let's mesh this, this, as well as this. So before that. Uh, I will actually delete this match. So I will assign this with the quad structure. Okay. And then with that element, let's go for this machine. It will be way better for behavior of the rubber. Yeah. So let's done with this explicit axis and source of linear. Okay. Now let's select from here. I'll go this to continue and explicit and then do okay. This moves and then go to job. So let's create a job and then this is rubber compression. Right, so then one parallelize and we okay and submit. So let's check with the monitor. As you see, the compression has been completed. The analysis has been completed. So let's go over here and then let's check. Wow, the behavior is too beautiful, too beautiful. Let's check. And as you can see, it has been compressed. And let's actually uh, take only the rubber as of now. So yeah. Orange element is no. Let's control by this. Pardon, uh, since rubber. Yes. Okay, now you can see it's sparked pretty much fast. That we can slow it up a little bit, okay. and then we can see that it is compression since it is like. Access symmetry. Let's go to view and then audibility the option. So extrude sweep and then sweep 180. Apply that. You can see the beautiful access symmetry of rubber compression. So 
go to audio, you can see the features basically. So now you can see the process and even with your apparent low volt compression plates. So when you take hand and view, you can see the heavier of compression. So if you want to take fail output and then you can actually take kinetic energy, internal energy, plot it out that you can see that the difference of thing or either you can have kinetic energy and then total. So you can feel the behavior of the total and then uh, kinetic energy that it has been here on this thing, right? Okay. So, thank you.